So today we're just going to start with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter to prime the face today. And then next you're going to go in with your Cargo Cosmetics HD Foundation or whichever one is your favorite. And just put it everywhere and then we're going to take the um, Tarte Quickie Sponge and we're just going to blend it all in until it's nice and smooth. And as always, don't ever forget your neck. You want to bring it all the way down so we all match everything. And just keep blending. And then next you're going to go into the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. We're going to put that under the eyes. And then go ahead and put it on the forehead, top of the nose, top of the lip, chin, and at the top of the jawline. And again, the same sponge, just blending it out. And just blend, blend, blend. After you're done blending, you're going to go into the, come on, the Cargo Cosmetics Loose Powder. You'll see in a minute. There it is. And just pack it on onto the eyes. It'll help set your concealer. And when we do our eyeshadow, it'll help catch any of that fallout if there's any. And I can't find this anymore, so just use what you got. I'm so sad. I hope I hope I can find it. I hope they bring it back. And just put it. I put it on my T-zone because that's where I get oily. And then to contour, we're going to use the Bahama Mama bronzer. What's new? And then for blush today, we're going to use the Balm Hot Mama. And jumping to eyebrows, we are using, surprise, surprise, the Balm Brow Pal. And just fill those eyebrows in. And then to set them, we're going to use Bliss um, Brow Gel to just hold down the eyebrows. You'll see it in a minute. And that's going to be it, you guys. You'll see the eye tutorial here in a second. Just keep on watching. It's a good one, so grab a snack. I hope you guys like it as much as I did. Here it goes. Okay, and then today for eyes, we're going to use the new, the exciting, Julia's Place Masquerade Palette. If you watched my other video, which you should have, you would have seen this already. You saw me swatch it, so now it's time to play. We're just going to start easy. We're going to go into the crease color. Um, We're going to try Zulu, which is this one. Dip it in. And go down. Oh, you know what? Let me rewind. I'm going to take some of my cargo powder and take just a big ugh, take just a big flat brush and put it everywhere so it'll help the eyeshadow blend easier because well it'll just make your life easier go in oh, oh. This is like a dream color. You're just going to have to sit here and blend up back and forth. Go in with it for a little bit more. We're going to try. It could be a total disaster, but we'll fix it somehow. I think I'm going to try to put um, the purple outside and then maybe like a dark blue and then to the lighter blue on the outs in the inside here. Jesus. Jesus help me. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. And these I'm not even going to wet. I'm just going to see how they, you know, they swatch really good, so... I'm assuming they're going to apply really good. Um, 
I'm gonna start with the inside. So we're gonna go into Zola. That one right there. Look at that, you guys. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Are you dead yet? Because I think my heart just stopped. This is so freaking pretty. This is what an eyeshadow should be without wetting it. Like, damn. And then we're going to go into Chi over here. And again, just pick some up. This one's a little bit harder to see because the bristles are dark, but. Ochre. Okay. You'll probably be able to hear vibrations. It's just my son in the background playing. Trying not to get bored. I'm going to go back into the first color, Zola, the brighter blue. And I'm just going to, like, connect the two. Y'all. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to keep going back into Chi, the second color. And... And then for the outside, I'm going to go into, what's your name? Makita. That purple right there. And then I'm just going to go in back to the blue and kind of combine everything. What did I say? Blend, girl. Blend. Well, hot damn. There we go. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. Okay, we're going to start literally with that much. That much. And we're going to put it in our crease. Oh, yes, girl. Okay, so first, for this eye that we're already doing, I'm going to go ahead and finish one eye and then the other eye I'll just fast. For this eye, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off all this extra powder I have down here. And then, girl, let's put a wing on it because you know it's going to look good. Let's put a wing on it. And of course, y'all know, hello, using the bomb swing. I wouldn't use nothing else. And go to town. You see it? 
Okay. So I'm just going to go into the brightest shade we did, the inner corner. And I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit. Because when I blended with that brown, it took some of it away. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm going to take like the smallest shader, you know, smallest little flat brush that I have. And I'm going to go into Giza. And we're going to pop it. Pop it like how on the inside. Right here. Okay, so I'm not even going to put anything else on. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, no. I lied. I need some more. Next is the blue. Last but not least, I'm going to just take that blending brush with nothing else on it. I'm not going to dip it back in and I'm just going to run it on the bottom. And then we're going to put on mascara. Okay, hold on. And that's it. Well, actually, I forgot. Okay. This is the only thing I didn't put on the face. But we're going to use the Lorac Highlighter in Twilight. Give me a brush. We're just going to use um, the Real Techniques 300. It's supposed to be a blush brush, but girl, whatever. We'll just dip in. Okay, and then I'll do the other eye, either fast forward, or I'll just come back with two done eyes. Boom. And boom, I'm back. Got both eyes done. What do you guys think? Can I say I freaking love it? We just have to choose the lip color, which of course is going to be nude because I can't be wearing no purple. So I'm just going to pick, let's see. I think I'm going to pick a Lorac matte lip color. It's just the first one I picked up. We'll do rose brown today. And let me put my mirror back. Rose brown. I had not been this excited to do makeup in a long time. All right. And I think that's it, you guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to make, like, more colorful looks using the palette. I mean, seriously. But I hope you guys liked this look. And if you wanted to see any other particular color in action... Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next video. I'll see y'all later. Bye.